This is Albania. Get ready for an epic adventure. So, the uh, bus station is around here somewhere. I'm heading for the Albanian town of Kruja. No, thank you. Okay, where is that bus station? Look at those mountains up there. Just incredible. Kruja! Korea. Korea. Thank you. There we go. It's like a uh, minivan, mini bus. Okay, we got three of them. Which one is the most full? Korea. Thank you. Hello. My guys. Okay. Thank you. So there's just one problem. There's only one other person on this bus. It might be a little while before we take off.
So this is Kruya, a mountain town that I found when I was just looking for coolest uh, towns of Albania. And it happens to be right on the way to Kosovo. Or Kosova, if you prefer. I think that Kosova is the... local pronunciation, but Kosovo is how it's pronounced in English. Feel free to let me know which way I should be pronouncing it, but for now I will go with Kosovo. So I'm headed for Kosovo, and this town was basically kind of right on the way, just a little bit out of the way. So I decided to uh, stop here, show a little bit more of Albania. I don't know exactly what there is to see here. There is a castle and an old town, so I'm going to poke around and uh, just check things out for an hour or whatever and then get back in another bus, minivan, whatever heading for Kosovo. So Kosovo is the last country of the Balkans for me to visit that I haven't seen yet. Now I realize that uh, calling it a country will be controversial for some people. Kosovo is a very small country in the Balkans, bordering Albania, that is disputed. It is claimed by Serbia, but Kosovo claims independence. So that's the deal. It's not my thing. I'm just a traveler. Looking forward to checking it out. All right, so, uh... <laughs> Hello. Hello. Old town? Old town? Castle? Castle? No. Maybe this way? No. Thank you. No English. That's fine. Seems like I'm walking into regular neighborhoods here. I think it's back the other way. That is a cold, cold breeze up in elevation, a little bit more than Tirana. Look at the uh, snow up on the mountains there. Beautiful uh, peaks. There's a building way up on top up there. I wonder what that is. You can see it there. Awesome. Oh, there we go. Kruja Mountain. So I guess you can drive up there, or maybe even hike. Definitely not going to do that with uh, this big backpack on. And uh, the plan is to possibly get to Prizren, Kosovo today. It is only a two and a half hour drive from here. Okay, there we got a sign. Kruja Castle. Old Bazaar, mountain to the left. Let's go find the Old Bazaar of Kruja. So here's a better view of that building hanging on the top of that mountain. The road winding up there, it looks like. And look at that thing up on top of the hill. That must be the castle. Straight ahead, castle, bazaar, toilets, pedestrian zone. I need all of that. <laughs> And here we have a monument that I believe is to Skanderbeg. Looks similar to the one in Tirana. 15th century hero of Albania who fought against the Ottomans. Looks like this is the uh, pedestrian zone. Nice. Cool uh, shopping street up ahead, it looks like. This place is looking pretty sweet. So I'm guessing that in summer, this town must be pretty busy because it's only an hour from Tirana. It would be a little bit cooler and a uh, nice escape from the city scene. Some good smells going on right now. Maybe from the uh, pizza. 
Mosque up ahead. Albania is majority Muslim. Traditional food of Kruja. That is a cool looking castle tower. All right, this was definitely worth making the stop. Of course, it would have been a lot more uh, convenient. Look at that. I probably could have just taken a bus like an express bus straight from Tirana to Prizren. Prizren is the second largest city of Kosovo and made this trip a lot easier, but that would have been a boring video, right? Just sitting on the bus the whole way. And I wouldn't have seen here and whatever else I will see in the uh, coming hours as I head in that direction the local way. Awesome cobblestone streets here. All right. Wow, this is freaking amazing. Sometimes not having expectations is a good thing. You are pleasantly surprised. This is just a classic mountain town. Hello, how are you? Oh, no, thank you. Very nice stuff, though. So. Yeah, I'd, I'm not doing any shopping. No thanks, thank you, thank you. I really don't need more stuff in my backpack. It is already bursting at the seams. I've got some food in there and, of course, you know, cold weather clothes. This is just gorgeous. Ultimate shopping, I'm sure it's all very affordable. The symbol of Albania. Double-headed eagle. Hero Castro is another uh, town in the south that's supposed to be nice. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. How are you, sir? Great. How are you doing? I am fine. And you, come inside. Uh, good shop antiques. Oh, I'm walking up to the castle right now. I castle just is just this way? Here, yeah. Yeah. I will probably be back down. All right. Maybe good to see you again. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? Oh, no, thanks. Just walking through. Castle straight ahead. Nice uh, job with the signs around here, Kruya. Very uh, helpful. There goes the call of the Azan. The Muslim call to prayer. The bazaar continues. So uh, 300 lek for an Albanian dish. That is less than $3. The exchange rate to the US dollar is about 100 to 1, so the minivan from Tirana to here was just 200 lek, or less than 2 bucks. The taxi was more expensive going from my hotel to the bus station. It was about 800 lek, or $8 or so. A bit of a long taxi ride though, so still not bad. Steep hills with a heavy backpack. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. I see. I don't see actually. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. 100. I'm giving away all my 
small stuff that I'm gonna end up needing later, but so well, it's uh, yeah, there's like, there's pretty good chunk of change. Oops. Okay. Good luck, good luck. Kruja Castle. The castle of Kruja symbolizes the strength of the Albanians thanks to the heroism of Girj Gastrioti Skanderbeg. Okay. In the battles against the Ottoman invasion, archaeological excavations prove that the hill has been inhabited since the 3rd century AD, while the fortress itself was erected in the 5th to 6th century AD. In the 13th to 14th centuries, it was established as the capital of the Arbanon state. During the era of Skanderbeg, which was 15th century, it became the headquarters of the Albanian resistance against the Ottoman invasions. Within the castle, there are many facilities that can be visited. Okay, I didn't realize... Have a nice day. I didn't realize that this had such a connection to Skanderbeg, so... That's really cool to uh, kind of make the connection having seen the statue in uh, the main square of Tirana and learned a little bit about him and then to end up in his castle here. Whoa, yeah. Man, oh man. Put Kruja on your list of places to see in Albania. I never heard about it the last time that I was here, five years ago. All right. Kuya. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a museum, yes. kind of? Okay, cool. It's kind of like a museum. Great. Ticket. One ticket then. I found it like this. Great. There are three floors, four people can take them inside and video, but no flash. No problem, no problem. It's okay if I walk through with this? If you want, you can put there. If you want, you can put there. Yeah, I can put it. The camera is Okay. The National Museum was inaugurated on 1st November 1982. Skanderbeg? Yes. Yeah. Looking very ferocious. Okay, into the museum, which is inside the castle. So unfortunately, as I talked about in a previous video tour of Tirana, then, despite uh, Skanderbeg's fighting against the Ottomans, then the Ottomans continued to have influence and rule over and occupy Albania up until 1912. So for another 400 years after Skanderbeg was fighting against the Ottomans, then they were still controlling this area, and then in 1912, Albania finally gained independence from the Ottoman Empire. Wow, amazing uh, murals here. Skanderbeg. Okay, I'm looking forward to getting closer to the tower. Hopefully you can get up inside it. At least get a closer view of it. 
quite an amazing museum. After Skanderbeg's death in 1468, Lac Dugini is the military leader for 11 years. On April 1479, the Ottoman forces captured the castle of Shkoder, the last Albanian castle to fall to the Ottomans. So, in other words, the Ottomans took over again after Skanderbeg died. The Albanian resistance to the Ottoman invasion continued after this moment by Skanderbeg's son, who tried to liberate Albanian territories from Ottoman rule in 1481. In 1501, his grandson went to Lege and organized a local uprising, but that too was unsuccessful. Wow, nice view. There's that building on the mountain again. Looking down into the valley. Tirana is down there, I guess maybe that's it out there.